Welcome to the first episode of the Golden Whistle Vodcast. My name is Patrick Knight and I'm very lucky to have current AFR umpire Brent Wallace here on the show. Thanks so much for being here today, Brent, and I'm really excited to chat with you and I know our listeners are going to be really fascinated to hear about your life and journey as an AFR umpire. Thanks, Patrick. No, thanks for having me. So, Brent, if we go back to your days as an 18, 19-year-old, playing in the VFL for the Box Hill Hawks, what was it like making the decision to transition from, an, from a player to an umpire? Yeah, I suppose the big thing for me was um, I probably never thought that I was ever going to be an umpire. I never did umpiring sort of coming through my junior ranks. Um, it was always something that um, I had such admiration for the umpires, but never thought that I would probably do it myself. So then to watch um, a couple of the ex-AFL players start to come into the umpiring landscape, that was where it started for me to think, oh, maybe this is something that I'd like to do and like to get into and, and have a go at. So um, in terms of that sort of 18, 19 year old kid that's running around and um, I was a little bit light on compared to the senior bodies that were playing VFL football, um, looking at that career of umpiring and, and having a, a, another career with it as well, being able to work um, was something that was um, really sort of appetising for me and, and the reason probably why I decided to go across to, uh, to umpiring in the end was that I thought my skills really transferred well from football um, and so that's why I went across to umpiring. Yeah, that's really interesting. So at the time when you did choose to transition to umpiring, what, what did your teammates feel about the decision? Yeah, well, I, 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 I spoke to a, I spoke to a couple of them um, as I was sort of going through the process. I actually had done the whole preseason with Box Hill again to come through for my sort of third year at, at VFL football, um, and then sort of in the late preseason had a few discussions with the AFL about this scholarship um, program to come through the player to umpire pathway. Um, it was something that I sort of took probably two to three weeks to to consider um, whilst I was still playing. Um, and then probably the, de the decision in the end was that, um, that yeah, I was going to go to umpiring and went across to it and, and spoke to a few mates about it. Um, a lot of them were probably a little bit confused initially. Yeah. Um, obviously coming from a, from a football family as well, a playing family, um, to choose umpiring was a bit sort of foreign, but they all definitely respected um, the, the decision that I'd made and, and, and wish me all the best and, and I ended up probably umpiring a lot of those guys later on in their, in their careers which was pretty cool as well. Yeah that is amazing. Yeah. So what was, so your first game was St Kilda versus Melbourne at Marble Stadium on Sunday afternoon round 11 2015. 25,000 people in the crowd, it was a pretty close game and your dad Terry Wallace was actually in the commentary box. Hall of Fame legend, three-time premiership, three-time premiership winner, and former coach. What were the emotions running through you um, through the pre-game? Yeah, so um, pre-game back then, um, you get to the ground about two hours before the game. Um, it was the the Sunday twilight, so I had to wait from Friday night, first game. You watch that, you sit down on the couch and, and watch the game. You watch all of like a lot of the Saturday night games. I was the last game of the round, so. Um, I was pretty sort of almost footied out by the, by the stage yeah. that I got to it. Um, two hours before the game, get to the game, we actually didn't get an opportunity, we usually go and see the teams, um, we didn't get an opportunity to do that because they were doing a presentation to me down in the, in the rooms with my family um, before the game and then um, sort of emotions getting out on the ground, I thought it was, how cool is this just to be involved and to, to go out on game day as a running umpire. I'd been emergency previously but never sort of as a running umpire. So. Um, that was really cool. Uh, the Saints at that stage actually were trialling something where they, they came out onto the ground probably two to three minutes prior to the game. So they came out, ran straight onto the ground, ran straight to the coin toss, and then it was into the game. Now they were a little bit late out initially, um, so they had this like heartbeat um, noise going into the first bounce and I had to take the first bounce that day and when I was standing there with the football in my hands, I wasn't quite sure if it was my own heartbeat going or if it was the yeah, stadium the noise stadium. going around. Um, so yeah, once that first bounce went up straight, um, the nerves and everything settled nicely um, and then it just became after those first couple of minutes just another game of football, which was nice. Did your, dad have, did your dad have any words to you before the game? Any, any words of advice and wisdom, wisdom before the game? Or? Uh, I think the main thing that he sort of mentioned was just like 
embrace the opportunity, just take in the surrounding. Um, you've worked really hard to get the opportunity. Now, it might not have been as a sort of five or six year old kid probably what I was going to be involved in as in AFL football, but I'd, I'd always wanted to be at the top level of the sport at some stage. Um, so he said, you've worked really hard for this, just embrace it, enjoy it. And um, as, as I said previously, it's another game of fo football once that first couple of minutes gets started. So you'll, you'll find your feet and get into it from there. So that was probably the big thing. And being a field umpire myself at local level, I'm really interested to hear about your pre-game routine. Like what do you go through like an hour before the bounce? Like what's your routine? Yeah, so yeah, usually um, sort of depending um, upon the game, we, we travel across the country. So we do need to have a little bit of a flexi flexible routine. Um, there's going to be some different um, factors that will always throw a curveball in, into your routine. So making sure that you've got a routine but flexibility within that is really key. Um, probably sort of that two hours to 90 minutes before the game is when I get there. Um, a lot of sort of rolling out and, and mobility sort of um, activations prior to doing a little bit of a run around on the ground, a couple of bounces. Um, and then when I come back in, um, it's really sort of focusing in on the final few bits and pieces. I write a match plan for every game that I do. Um, so revisit that match plan about the players, the teams of who uh, I'm going to be um, having for that day, who are the players that I'm going to need to really monitor and, and watch. And then I just write a little sort of summary that I read back of what are the things that I do well when I'm umpiring. And, and that gives me a real confidence leading into the game um, as well. And then finally, just before, probably 10 minutes before I go out, I just do like a two minute little uh, mindfulness meditation, just sit away from the group, just find my groove and, uh, and, then, and then away we go. But um, I'm very much someone that likes to get caught up in uh, the music of the stadium, the environment that we're in and, and try to chat away with, with the group once we get out there and, and really embrace and enjoy the experience. You're in the unique position of knowing how it feels to be part of an elite professional playing VFL footy team and also a part of a professional umpires team. Do you feel that the current umpire team has a similar bond to that of a playing group? Yeah, absolutely. It was probably the thing that um, surprised me the most in transitioning from playing the game to umpiring the game was when I went from playing, it was a, a close-knit group and you sort of work hard together and you go out and, and, and compete as a team to try to win a match. Um, I wasn't sure what that was going to be like coming to umpiring. Obviously, you don't get the wins and losses. Um, if no one sort of is uh, saying your name after the game, it's a big pat on the back for you and, and away you go. So I wasn't really sure how the the team environment and, and how that would go, um, but I've been yeah I've been blown away with the, the support and um, the mateship that I've got through umpiring. Um, I, I sort of see it as a as a really respectful group. Um, we always strive and, and challenge each other to try to get the best out of the group and, and out of our team. And it is a real team based sport. I mean, we speak about every every week when we go out there the team actions that are going to get the best result for not only us as a group umpiring the game, but the game itself. So for junior umpires learning at local level, what advice do you give to us on how we improve our umpiring? Yeah, I think the big thing is your knowledge of the laws. I mean, everything comes back to um, can you understand and when something happens out on the field, do you have the knowledge and are you able to um, display that in a, in a match situation? So I think um, your knowledge of the laws is probably the, the biggest thing to, to be all over. Um, like anything, I think as well, your work rate in games can only set you up to be in a really good position and, and to help and support you to make the best decisions. And then finally, just when you're coming through the ranks is um, just have the real growth mindset and really wanting to, to learn and to find out because it's a great thing in umpiring is there's so many people that want to help and support you. Um, and it's about sort of utilising those people and making sure you get the best out of yourself. So, throughout your career, what do you think has been the most rewarding aspect of umpiring AFL? Yeah, uh, I think there's sort of, there's two aspects to that. Um, I think for me the most rewarding thing is um, team performances. So I've, I've always played team sport. Um, I probably haven't been a, uh, a person that's sort of 
gone to individual sports as much as, as team-based sports. I just love working in a team. I love working towards a common goal with a group of people. So um, the biggest thing for me is, is coming off some, um, some big games and having a really good team performance. So those have been probably the biggest rewards for me and, and the mateship that I've got through, through umpiring. Um, but then obviously individually, I mean, being able to go out there on a, uh, on an Easter Monday game, I've done a, a big freeze at the G, like to be able to sort of go out and perform in front of sort of 80,000 people, um, it's a pretty cool rush. And as you just said, you're so close to so many spectacular moments on the football field that go down in, in, in history and are talked about forever. And so can you list three of the, your most memorable moments you've been a part on, on the football field of? Yeah, so I think the three for me um, that jump to mind is um, I've been involved in, in in a couple of Eddie Betts' greatest goals in, in his career at Adelaide Oval. Um, there's there's one against GWS. Um, I think I was maybe in my second or third year umpiring. Um, I was the far end umpire, so I could sort of embrace and take it all in from the far end, not in control of the play, and um, seeing him sort of whip the ball through his legs, keep the ball in on the boundary line and then sort of do a nice check side from the pocket. Um, that was pretty cool. Uh, I was f front and centre and, and paid a mark to, to Cyril Rioli one day where he uh, sat on people's shoulders at the MCG and, and like the, just the roar and the eruption um, that came with that, that was, uh, that was pretty cool. And then um, probably the other, the other one there being um, my first game. Uh, and probably it's more so for me than a great moment in, in football but my first game was decided by um, two points and uh, a goal was kicked in the last sort of 15 seconds uh, in order to win that match and I had to then go out to the centre and bounce the footy and make sure that the play went, went forward and, and not stuff up the bounce sort of after that so um, they're probably three moments that sit yeah, really highly in, uh, in my mind. Yeah, they're amazing, yeah. What are your long-term goals of, of, as an umpire as you look forward to the rest of your career? Yeah, I, I think the, the all-time goal for all umpires is we all want to do a grand final. Um, and I think, it's, I think it's a goal that we all strive to get. Not everyone gets there, but I think if you, if you don't have that in your mind, um, then you, you're probably not in the right caper and, you, and you, you're going to sort of fall away pretty quickly. But I think in the short term, um, my biggest thing is um, I want to get finals footy and I want to be exposed to finals football. Um, I, I think about me as a little kid and, and how excited I got for when the finals came around and, and think about all the great games that have been involved. Um, that's where I would like to be and I'd like to experience mm -hmm. that. So that's probably the, the short term and then the long term obviously going towards a grand final as well. So if you had to sum up being AFL umpire, in one word, what would you say? Uh, Initially, straight, straight, straight away came to my mind was amazing. Um, what an opportunity to be involved in, in the greatest game in the world, um, to be right in the middle of it and, and experiencing football, um, its greatest moments, and then to be able to do it with probably 30 of your best mates. Um, if you had told me that you could do that as a kid, I would have said, yep, sign me up straight away. Where do I, uh, where do I sign the dotted line? So, um, yeah, it's, a, it's an amazing experience to be part of AFL football and umpiring. Thanks so much for your time today, Brent, on the first episode of the Golden Whistle Vodcast. It is a privilege to be able to speak to you about your journey and what is it like being an AFL umpire. I'm sure that all our viewers have learnt a lot. Thanks, Patrick. Appreciate it.